Hi, I'm David Dillon and we will talk about A Plague Tale Innocence. What is A Plague's Tale? It's an action-adventure game uh, which takes place in the Middle Age in France. Uh, France ravaged by wars, inquisition and huge swarms of rats. And her two main characters are Hugo and Amicia, which are sisters and brothers. So you have a very unique take in this game. It's the Black Plague, but it's witnessed through the eyes of children. What does that open up creatively for you? <laughs> Um, it actually, the, the, the very first seed of the concept comes from, uh, you know, those tales that uh, adults were telling us when we were young, like uh, a, a pipe master or Ansel and Gretel, and um, which were actually pretty scary tales for kids. And uh, it comes from that, this friction between, the, you know, the tenderness of kids, and uh, in this case, the very special bond between uh, Amicia and Hugo, and this friction with a very brutal and crude uh, middle age. Yeah, amazing. So the gameplay looks absolutely fantastic, especially for a gameplay alpha. What engine are you building the game in? It's actually your own engine, which gives us the you know the necessary flexibility to build the rats as we need to, because we you really need in this case to to be able to display and to make um, thousands of rats behave uh, appropriately, both visually but also in terms of animation and even in terms of feedback for the gameplay itself. Uh, we needed to have the full freedom on this, so we are pretty, I mean, super happy to use, to use our own engine. Talk about the rats, and are they are they models? Are they individual models, or is it something else? Uh, there is, yeah, lots of tricks in the, I would say, in the back office there. Uh, but you're right, the, the goal was really to make each of them an individual thing, especially when they are close. Uh, but obviously, if we, if you do this, if you do this uh, like brute force, it doesn't work. Yeah, there is way too many. So we need to basically build several types of rats, both in terms of um, pure, um, I, mean, I would say, amount of vertex, but also definition in terms of AI, uh, bones, and all of that. So what's the story in this game? What are the brother and sister doing throughout this experience? Uh, they, um, I cannot reveal too much about the story itself, but let's say that um, they are orphans. Basically, at the very beginning of the story, they will lose almost everything. And their very, their very first goal will be to survive. And step by step, meeting other people and other orphans, they will actually realize that they have a much bigger role to to play in this story for themselves, but even for the kingdom of France. So, like, this is a very interesting game because it's not it's not supernatural game, but it's just because you're in the eyes of a child, in the mind of a child, everything's over exaggerated and kind of you know more scarier than it really is. Talk about what that opens up storytelling wise for you. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not sure to get completely the question. Okay. Can you so, like, um, you know, um, it's not the game is not supernatural. You yeah. you are not controlling rats. Yeah. There are no ghosts. There are no. There's no like yeah. you know. It's not no a fan. Visual. It's yeah. not a fantasy world. It's a realistic world grounded in, in in history. But it's through the eyes of children, and children see things a lot differently than adults do. They tend to over exaggerate things and imagine things worse than they really are. And you take advantage of that in the gameplay demo I saw, like showing rats nests as these huge, ugly, like black tar-like things clinging to surfaces. That's not what, they, not what they look like, but to a kid, it could look like that. Yeah, you're right. It's, um, as I was saying at the beginning, it's really the, um, the very first seed of the, pro of the project is really this friction between um, the two kids and, 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 and the brutal world, and the rats were a perfect fit for that. Um, I, would, I would also say that when, they, when you come to the story about it's really about more psychology than going into the gory aspect. Psychological horror. Exactly. It's, it's more a nightmare. That's the reason why it's a tale. And it's not about, you know, jump scare uh, or these sort of things. It's more about um, something weird psychologically. Do you think people will learn about history through your game, you know, of medieval France and the Black Plague? I'm sorry, no. <laughs> no way. Took too no. many liberties. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, we, we try to make the game as grounded as possible and we try to respect as much as, I mean, we have um, documented a lot, typically architectures and the way people were dressed, etc., etc. But it's, the whole goal is not to tell about the actual story of France at this time. It's really more, um, you know, it's a very rich source of inspiration of things, how things were happening at, the, at those times. 
what was the um, basically what how the humans were with each other with, in so in a, such a desolated time, and it's what the reason why we take um, the Middle Age as a reference, but it's not the goal is not to tell, you know, uh, at this time the at this date this happened. Uh, it's not the goal. When you're doing command, what platforms will it be on? It will be out uh, at the end of uh, 2018 on PC and uh, consoles.